The Giant Plague Doctor is a new for 2024 Halloween costumes animatronic. This guy gets his name from the clearly obvious fact that, well, he's giant. Standing in a whopping 7.5 feet tall, the Giant Plague Doctor's animation is incredibly impressive for his size, and only made better by the terrific quality that he features. From a fully hard plastic mask to fantastically sculpted latex hands with veins, when Halloween Costumes reached out and offered to send me some animatronics from their 2024 lineup to review, I knew that this was one I had to choose. We truly don't see enough Plague Doctors within the retail Halloween market, and I think this is one of the best we've ever seen. Without any further ado, let's unbox and set up the Giant Plague Doctor. For everything scary, I'm GM Haunts, and welcome to yet another Halloween 2024 animatronic unboxing setup demo and review video. Now this unboxing is super special because it's actually the first of three videos that I'm going to be working on in partnership with HalloweenCostumes.com. Halloween Costumes recently reached out to me and allowed me to pick out three of the best animatronics from their awesome Halloween 2024 animatronic lineup. And this one right here is the first of those three unboxings, the Giant Plague Doctor. So obviously, I want to send a huge thank you out to Halloween Costumes for doing this partnership with me. And I also have to say that when you're watching this video, the entire 2024 lineup will have dropped on the HalloweenCostumes.com website. And if there are any items that you would like to purchase from their site, please make sure to use the link that is in my description and in my comment section to get 15% off any item on the Halloween Costumes website. So as you can see, the box of the Giant Plague Doctor is actually not that big for an animatronic that stands at seven and a half feet tall, which is great for storage. And also, as you can see, it is just a regular cardboard box with no artwork or anything like that. But I am definitely very happy with the box size because again, when the, you have big animatronics like this, you want to make sure the boxes are as small as possible because while they look cool, not everyone has a, a giant amount of storage to store massive props. So here we are inside of the box for the seven and a half foot giant plague doctor. And as you can see, it seems like he has a lot of parts. So I guess I will take this one out first. This looks like a piece of clothing for the giant plague doctor. I believe it is his pants or maybe his shirt actually this looks really nice right off the bat he actually does have some gold buttons it looks like almost which have like a nice design on them so these look really nice here we have another piece of clothing for the plague doctor and this is probably his shirt or his main jacket because it is absolutely massive as you can see unfolding <laughs> look at how giant this piece is it looks like it also has some creepy cloth on it as you can see right there this is massive again this is a very very big prop so you can kind of get an idea of how tall he's going to be. This looks fantastic. Here we have the main module and control box of the Giant Plague Doctor. And I will say right off the bat, I am very impressed by the quality of this. It is all metal. And as you can see, the control box itself, it does have a little plastic coating on it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the most important, actually two pieces here. I didn't even see it. Okay, two really important parts. I want to see this one first. I want to say right now, this thing is heavy, really heavy, amazing sculpt for this thing. Let's, we got to get a, a good look at this. Obviously, this is the Plague Doctor's head, as you can see right there. And again, it is heavy. It is a hard plastic. Hopefully you can hear that, a very hard plastic material. It's got LEDs in there for the eyes to light up. And the paint job is awesome. Red eyes, a gold look to the Plague Doctor mask itself. It even has the sculpted um, like back part of the mask, as you can see there. And it has the head form with some plastic wires. This thing is amazing looking. And again, the quality is fantastic. We got a little look at these before, but I want to take a more in-depth look at them because these look amazing as well. These are the hands for the Giant Plague Doctor. And as you can see, they are fully sculpted with an amazing paint job of some skin tone and like dark browns in there with long black fingernails. They are a latex material. Hopefully you can see they kind of have a little bit of squish to them. Very, very hefty and nice quality latex hands here. I love the way they look and how they're almost like monster hands for the Plague Doctor. These as well are really, really cool. Here we have the shoulder form for this prop and it is massive. I mean, look at it compared to my shoulders. It's a little bit bigger. So very big giant Plague Doctor. Here we have one of the arms and then another metal piece that may be a waist loop or a back loop. I'm not exactly sure just yet. This is very cool. There's actually an included step pad with the giant plague doctor. And as you can see, it's got a yellow design 
that says step here. So always a great deal when animatronics come with a step pad. Here we have some poles, which are a very nice thick metal material and his other arm. Here we have two more weird waist loops. This is definitely a waist loop. And then this is another one similar to the one I had before. So I'm not exactly sure what these are just yet, but interesting pieces. And then finally, we have the adapter and the base for the giant plague doctor, which as you can see is a standard animatronic base. All right, so we're now ready to start the setup for the giant plague doctor. And for the first step, you're going to put the base on the ground with the big empty part of the base uh, for uh, facing towards the front of the prop. And now we can go ahead and add on the lower support poles by simply snap locking them in. Now we can go ahead and add on the upper support poles, which again, just like the bottom ones, are just going to snap lock in just like on any other animatronic, making sure they're secure. Now we're going to add on the main module with the control box. And this is when you're going to see the true size of the giant plague doctor and just how giant he really is. So you're just going to snap lock the main module right on just like that. Next up, we're going to add on the waist loop by simply sliding it over the body you just added on and then stretching it a little bit so that the little forks that are coming from it can slide into the poles just like that. Next up, you're going to add on the half circle, and this one is going to have poles that simply go into the little fork holder that's coming from this pole right here. Now we're going to add on the giant shoulder form all the way up there around seven feet in the air, and you're simply going to slide it in to the top of the shoulder just like that. Now we're going to take this piece that is almost in like the shape of an egg or an oval, and you want that to be facing down as it is the back arch, and this is just going to slide right into the little spots for the holes or the, the forks to go into from the back of the shoulder form. Now we can add on the most important piece for the plague doctor. And of course that is the head. As you'll notice, there is a fork on the back of it. You're just going to take that fork, put it over top of the shoulder form and make sure that it slides uh, right into the fork holder, which does have three holes for it to go into to really make sure that it's secured. And that's how the head attaches. At this point, you should also connect the wire that is coming from the head to light up the eyes to the wire that is coming from the control box so that when he activates those eyes will light up now we can attach the hands to the arm pieces and you'll know which one is which because if you put it like this you can see obviously that this is the left arm so now we can take the left hand with the thumb that is facing in and you're just going to slide the forks right into the two holes from the fork holder that are on the arm like that for the next step, you can go ahead and take the robe of the giant plague doctor and put it over his head so it goes all the way down the body. You're definitely going to want a stepping stool or a ladder or something like that because he is very tall and it's a little bit hard to get it over the head. Now we can take the arms with the hands already assembled as we did before and slide them up both sleeves and slide them right into the fork holder that is on the shoulder form like that so they are secure. And then you can connect the velcro from the sleeve onto the hand. Now, of course, you can do the exact same step before his right arm, making sure that both of the forks go into the fork holder. Once again, adjusting the sleeve, making sure the creepy cloth is facing towards the back and attaching the Velcro. Now you can take the very final piece of clothing for the giant plague doctor, which is the hood, and you can slide it right over the plague doctor mask and the whole plastic shoulder or the plastic forming for the head that's on the back. It's a massive piece because this is a massive prop as you can see right there. So it probably is going to take you a second, but make sure the hood goes fully over the head that it covers all of it. And then as you'll see, the buttons that are on the front are to hide the Velcro. You're then just going to attach the Velcro so that it is tightly snug over the head of a plague doctor. Obviously you can adjust this as much as, as you'd like to make sure it looks perfect, which I think I'm going to do in just a second here, but that's how you put the hood on. And finally, for your very last step of assembly with the Giant Plague Doctor, simply, you're going to plug the adapter into the control box. All right, so here he is, the Halloween Costumes 2024 Giant Plague Doctor animatronic assembled in all his glory. But before I give you my thoughts on him, let's take a look at the demos. Beyond is the point of no return, the stench of evil 
Alright, so you just saw the demos for my Halloween costumes 2024 giant plague doctor animatronic. And overall, I think this is a fantastic prop. I feel like the main thing that has to be said about this guy is the pure size of him. He stands at seven and a half feet tall, but not only is he a super tall prop, he also has a lot of width to him, both in the way his arms are posed and also in the size of his clothing. I should mention that he does have posable arms, which allow you to create a lot of different looks with the Plague Doctor, as you can have them as I have them right now, both kind of outward. You can also probably make it where they're facing up, down at his side, really any look you want because they are bendable and they are poseable. I also want to mention that his clothing is a very thick material that I am very impressed by. It is not the standard animatronic clothing that we see that is almost like see-through and a very cheap material. This is actually very thick and feels like real clothing that a plague doctor would actually wear as it has some weight to it and especially within the hood where you can see these buttons on here, it feels like a real cloth material that not only looks impressive but also really feels impressive. I can't stress enough that the quality of this animatronic is really, really impressive to me and I am just super happy with the way this guy is built. From the very, very nice quality head that I talked about before with like the hard plastic latex material that it's got in there along with the latex hands that we're seeing and like I just mentioned, the quality of the clothing itself, this guy is honestly an outstander when it comes to the quality of an animatronic. He's got a lot of size to him. The animation is there, which we'll talk about in a second, but I honestly feel like the quality may be the best thing about the Giant Plague Doctor. Another thing I really love about the Giant Plague Doctor is his animation with him leaning forward and backward. I think it is a super creepy animation and for a prop of this size, it once again just adds to the impressive factor that this guy has. I also love that depending on the activation, sometimes he ends leaning forward and then resets going back when he activates again and other times he stops while he's in the back position. I think the programming is really unique for this animatronic and once again when you're standing right in front of him and those eyes light up with that awesome coloring, I think the animation is just awesome and for a prop this big it's really imposing. But overall, I am super happy with the Giant Plague Doctor animatronic from Halloween Costumes, and I definitely think that he is a fantastic piece from their 2024 lineup, and I would highly recommend him. Honestly, truthfully, genuinely, I would highly recommend him, because like all the things I said, I am super impressed by the quality of the prop, and I think the size of him alone makes him a very, very cool one to have in any display or just any collection, because he is so unique being a Giant Plague Doctor, as we honestly don't don't see enough Plague Doctors within the retail Halloween market. So overall, Halloween costumes, I cannot thank you enough for sending me this prop and sending me two other ones that all of you will see on the channel very, very soon. And like I said, if you use the link that is at the top of my description and in my comment section for this video, you will get 15% off this animatronic or any other item that you can find on the Halloween costumes website. So again, thank you so much, Halloween costumes. I am very happy with this guy. And I think he's a fantastic item for Halloween 2024. But I guess, remember as always, for everything scary, I'm GM Haunts. Oscar that it for more Halloween 2024 animatronic unboxings. Goodbye.